Hello. <coughs> oh, hey. Uh, my name is Ask. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Spore. And my, I'm here to talk about bird watching in a really advanced way. Uh, so we're using cameras and computer vision to monitor bird and wind farms. And I'm going to tell you why, one, it's a good business, and two, why it's critical for energy transition. Um, I think a lot of the people in the audience would know that there's a lot of wind coming. Uh, it's a good tailwind in the wind market. Uh, the growth is expected to be double digit in the coming years. And I'll give you some kind of information on what lies behind those numbers. So a one gigawatt offshore wind farm, which is like a typical size, will cost you about 3 billion euros to build. It's a fairly sizable operation. It gives you about 8.5 billion euros of revenue. And by doing bird monitoring, we can actually, we've been told by the industry at least, that we can de-risk the investment, uh, the capex. We can safeguard the asset during the lifetime. And we can also simplify the consenting process. So to build a wind farm, you need to have a consent. You need to have a license to operate. Uh, that's a non-negotiable. I think what a lot of people don't know uh, is that one of the principal bottlenecks for this growth, and this is from the industry itself, is concerns related to birds. Who would have thought? Um, so a typical wind farm, uh, Horn C3, which is uh, 2.4 gigawatts, or so it's quite a sizable one, it has been delayed by 14 months because of uh, issues related to birds, or basically the lack of good and robust data. So it's not that we know that the birds are a problem, it's that we don't know how big the problem is. That's the main challenge. And this is not an unique uh, proposition. It happens time and time again throughout the industry. Big projects are being delayed, canceled, or sometimes even existing projects are getting their license revoked because of uncertainty in the bird data. So when you're building a wind farm and spending you know, 7 billion euros on it, why are you not able to provide the data that you need? Well, currently, the best way to gather data is to send out people. So you hire a really good board watcher. He brings his binoculars, a little notebook. You put him on a plane or a boat, send him out in the ocean, or on a pickup truck on land, and he notes down what he sees. This is a fairly costly way, and it gives a very small data set. So you do have maybe a few days a year, a lot of uncertainty in the data, which is easily dis disputed also in the consenting process. Um, if you want to look how many birds are being killed by the turbine, the technology is slightly different. The guy will bring a dog. <laughs> so he brings a guard dog, and you go around and searching for dead birds. Of course, offshore, that is slightly different and difficult. Um, so what are we doing about it? Well, we built a software where we use a combination of computer vision and AI to detect and track birds in wind farms. We gather data that the regulators want to see. Our customers are the wind operators and developers, but the data is mainly for the regulators about collision, activity levels, flight direction, and, and so forth. We present that data in the dashboard, and then the, our customers will take it and send it to the authorities, and that will give the, our license to operate, basically. Oh, let's see if it plays. No. If the people backstage can make it play, I would appreciate it. But this is from one of our sites. Uh, here we're monitoring bird activity. We're analyzing about 32 million pixels seven times per second. Still not playing. It's unfortunate. Um, and basically, we're looking for activity. Uh, if we see activity in those 30 million pixels, we feed that into different neural nets, um, which then classifies the object as bird or non-bird. And if it's a bird, oh, magic. If it's a bird, um, we then do estimations of where the bird is flying, what the bird is doing, and we compile it in a database, basically. On a site like this, we track about 30,000 birds a year. Uh, and to be able to do that, we have to develop our own uh, own data pipeline that can handle massive images and also our own uh, neural nets that can basically identify these birds with very limited data. There's good models online to identify birds if you have like really good images, but if you're trying to identify a bird that's a kilometer away, it's, it's fairly difficult. To give you a sense of the importance, so this developer that owns this turbine that you kind of see spinning around 
had to deliver bird data before they were able to install the turbine. So we had to deliver data. The government had to approve it, and then they were allowed to install this turbine. And this is a fairly small turbine, but it's still 20 million euros. So a fairly costly uh, piece of equipment. We are selling this as a software. We have some really exciting clients and, and partners that we're super excited about. We're also selling to smaller local players and are really excited about the traction and the and growth we have in the customer base. Here you can see the competition. This guy is really good. He's one of the uh, top 100 bird watchers in the world. He's on a wind farm looking at bird activity. You can also see our system here. So there's like three white box or two white boxes on the left hand side. That's cameras that this developers has installed to monitor bird activity on the site. And the bird watcher is actually on site to benchmark our system and prove that we are able to deliver the similar kind of data than he can do. To give you a sense of kind of importance of the data and the, the cost of it, so for a one gigawatt offshore wind farm, you will spend between one and two million euros a year to gather this data. For that type of cost, even though this guy is really good, we can provide 100 times the amount of data. And basically de-risk the asset and make sure that they keep their consent and keep their license to operate. Um, this is another wind farm. This is the world's biggest floating wind farm where we also installed. Uh, the turbine in the back there is, is still, uh, it's half the size of the turbines coming, but it's still sizable. It's about 200 meters tall. The cost for that one turbine, I think, is about 70 million euros. Uh, so fairly costly setup. And of course, if you have that type of asset, you want to make sure you have the license to operate it. Uh, it's a fairly important part. The little floating thing in the front is something called a, a wind measurement buoy. And these things are sent out globally to measure wind uh, before you build a wind farm. And that's the only technology in the world we've been able to use data, video data from those buoys to monitor bird activity. And the interest in the market has been quite enormous. This is something we announced six months ago and already in dialogue with uh, companies representing about 80% of the global market in this space. I said that this is important for climate and you might ask why. So if you ask the industry what's the key bottleneck to deploy wind, it's actually getting the consent, getting the license to operate and the time it takes to get the license to operate. Um, and by doing this in a smarter way, we have a more robust data set. You can actually re decrease the time it takes to get the license and get renewables on the market a lot sooner and on the grid a lot sooner and therefore phase out uh, fossil fuels a lot sooner. So the potential impact is huge. And then, you know, you do not need to take my word for the importance of this. Um, this is a quote from Matt Snipper. He's the CEO of the biggest offshore wind developer in the world. And this is from a, a news article where he basically is saying that they don't mind spending a few million euros on these type of technologies because it can mitigate concerns and reduce risks in built a billion euro projects. Um, so I think that's a good acknowledgement from the industry as well. Uh, we have some really uh, great investors that have been backing us. Shout out to them and pushing us forward. Um, we're now organizing or may, making the company ready for the next stage of growth. So if you think what we're doing is interesting and you have some sort of um, strategic thing you can help us with, let us know. Please reach out. And yeah, so I've tried to tell you guys that you know, fancy bird monitoring can A, be a really good business, and two, is a critical piece to solve climate change. So if that's not a high-flying pitch, I don't know what is. Thank you, guys.